it's time to get back to basics and in this one I'm going to show you how to use a simple handsaw. When it comes to actually buying a handsaw you'll notice a few things stand out. The saws are typically labelled coarse, universal and fine and you'll also notice on them they'll be listed a TPI number and that stands for teeth per inch. That's basically how many teeth are on the blade in one inch. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind is the less teeth there is, so the smaller the TPI number, the quicker you'll cut but you'll get a much rougher cut. And with more teeth, so a higher TPI number, it'll cut a lot slower but it'll give you a much finer and smoother finish. And universal saws and kind of an in-between, they work great for all jobs, so I'll always recommend getting one of them if you're unsure about anything else. So now that we've picked out our saw, I'm going to be using a universal saw, it's time to look at how we actually hold it. Now it's going to be pretty obvious, it's a hand saw, there's a handle right there, that's how you hold it, but there's a little tip that you can keep in mind. Use your index finger. If you rest that on the side of the saw, it's almost like you're pointing. Whatever direction you're pointing in, that's where the saw's going. Now there's a saying that you might have heard of, measure twice, cut once, but I think we need to add something onto that one. Cut on the waist side of the line. You could have done all the work measuring out, marking your line, but then if you cut on the wrong side, you're going to find out that the board is just that much too short. So what I like to do is make a little squiggle line on the waist side. That way it's nice and easy to remember which side of the line I need to be cutting on. There's a couple of handy features on a handsaw that you might not know about. It's got built-in marking angles, so you can use it for marking both 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles. Comes in really handy, this does. And of course you can use the back of the saw as a nice straight edge. Now before we start making a cut we need to think about how we're supporting the wood that we're going to be cutting. I'd recommend using a surface that's roughly knee height, that way you can kneel on the wood and use your own body weight as a bit of a clamp, it stops the wood moving round on you. If you're not comfortable with doing something like that, you could always use clamps as well, just make sure they're nice and tight to stop the wood from moving round and it makes it much easier to cut. We also need to be thinking about how we're standing, what's our stance like. When you come to cut with a saw, you don't want your elbow tucking into your body and getting caught. You also don't want it flailing out to the side neither, because you're just not going to be able to support the saw that way. You want your arm nice and parallel with your body, that way you'll get a nice smooth cut. Starting a cut with a handsaw can be a little bit awkward, but I've got some tips to help you with that. Now normally we'd be wanting to keep our hands well out of the way of any kind of saw but you're going to have to trust me on this one. Use your thumb as a bit of a guide. If you think of professional chefs they'll use their knuckles to guide the knife as them chopping. Well you can use your thumb in a very similar way. If you rest your thumb against the side of the saw blade, not against the teeth, you can use it as a guide to get the cut started. It works really well as a support and makes that starting cut a lot easier. You also need to keep in mind that these type of saws cut on the push motion, not on the pull. So if you drag back a few times, you'll create a little bit of a groove and this will give you a great starting point to start the rest of your cut. Now we've got the cut started and we're well into our stride, you need to keep in mind to use the full length of the blade. It takes a lot less effort and a lot less energy to complete the cut this way, plus you're using all the teeth on the blade so they'll wear down evenly, making the saw last longer. Now when you are making the cut, you don't want the saw just going straight up and down, you want some kind of natural angle to it. Now when you're cutting things like softwoods, a typical 45 degree angle works really well. But when you're cutting things like MDF, plywood or even laminate flooring, using a much shallower angle will work a lot better. You'll cut quicker and it's much less likely to split on you. So we're following the guideline and we know that we're going nice and straight, but how do we know if we're not tilting the blade left to right slightly? Well you can create a mark down the front of the board, or you can just keep an eye on the reflection. If the reflection of the board is nice and straight, then you know the saw is straight as well. If it's going off at a bit of an angle, so is the saw. Something else to keep in mind when it comes to the board splitting, you want to make sure that the off cut piece is supported. You can do this by reaching round with your free hand, you could also use something like a table that's at a similar height, or you could get someone else to help you and hold the off cut piece for you. When you are supporting the off cut piece, make sure that you're not pinching the blade, that'll just stop the blade cutting in its tracks. Keep it nice and level and that way the blade will cut smoothly. It's also worth keeping in mind, you want to keep your cut line as close to your supporting surface as possible, that way you'll minimise the vibrations and it'll be much easier to cut. So that was back to basics of how to use a handsaw. If there's any other tools you'd like me to cover in the back to basics series, do let us know in the comments below. One thing I want you all to keep in mind, it's only simple when you know it. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon next to it. That way you'll get notifications as soon as we upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.